Hey everyone, welcome back to another 1.19 Skyblock episode. Between episodes I've been AFKing at the Wandering Trader platform again in hopes of getting sugarcane so we can get a librarian. So despite AFKing the same amount of time, only got two Wandering Traders this time. Last time I actually got six, but all we need is only yeah one Wandering Trader that has sugarcane. So let's see what we have. Um, nothing useful. Or we have dog oak sapling, we can buy more potsol, because why not? Pearl blocks. Okay, so let's see this guy. Cactus. Uh, doesn't have anything really. Alright, then I just buy all the pot soul. Now we have emeralds left, of course. Hmm, I was wondering, there is this achievement. We have to buy every unique item from a wandering trader. Uh, which was. Day trader here. Buy all items exclusively available from a wandering trader. Does. Corals count towards that. Um, let's see. Yeah, they do. Okay, then we should just buy a coral. Technically, we also need the corals for... Yeah, in case we want to farm some sea pickles. Uh, why not spend the emeralds? Okay. One really good side effect of having AFK at the Warning Trader platform that long is... That the iron farm in the spawn chunks also ran. We still only have a single triplet of villagers in there. Nevertheless, we got a really decent amount of iron now. And poppies, of course. Right, so the plan for today is actually to first um, yeah, create a bit more sophisticated villager setup. I want to move the villagers to a profession somewhere else. I was thinking over there we have the connection to the fast travel tunnels. And yeah, just in general, um, get all the stuff we can get from the toolsmith and so on. So I want to progress with the villagers a bit more. And I want to actually first want to look into the possibility of maybe already getting librarian again. The last time when I did the testing in creative, I was actually using the Lithium mod, which is a performance improvement mod. And yeah, since we actually try to like the game, that's exactly what we don't need. So I want to do the test again, now without the mod. So last time we had the issue, despite having over 10,000 chickens in a one by one space, we didn't get nearly enough lag. Uh, to actually exploit the zombie villager transformation. But without Lysium, we can try this again. So this time I got the command block set up over here that summons the chickens. So this is actually uh, you know, on the border, uh, so the chickens will be in lazy chunks. So we can add the chickens without creating any immediate lag. So this will be quite good, especially for the client. Okay, just gonna turn this on here. And we need to get up to, uh, I think, around... 4,000 chickens, and the game is really laggy. There we go, that's enough. Almost 4,000 chickens. Alright, um, so if I go over and enter this chunk now, uh, we will have a lot of lag. So it actually takes a while until this updates, but when I tested this earlier, the MSPT was around 15, 1600, so it's really laggy. So it takes a while until this would update, um, I'm just gonna go back anyway. So we can do this test again with the zombie villager. So the first test I wanna do is I wanna see if it's really possible to trade with the converted zombie villagers if the tick rate is low enough. So this time I'm setting it to 0 0.3 instead of 1, so we have about 3 times as much time. Should be around 3 seconds. Okay, so let's see. So to undo the tick freeze. Wait 5 seconds and then we can try. There we go. I can... Buy a silk touch book. And this guy should. Yeah. It's still a librarian. Okay. So, in case we actually convert a librarian, we need to be a little bit lucky and actually get the trade where we can buy bookshelves for emeralds. So, in this case, of course, we don't have paper that we could sell. We don't have a book that we can upgrade to an enchanted book. Um, so, we would need the other trade. So, I guess we have yeah, a good chance to actually get it. Right, so it seems like it's feasible if the tick rate is just low enough. Okay, then let's try this again um, with the chicken lag. Okay, let's try this again, this time with the lag of almost 4,000 chickens. Just need to step over into this chunk, undo the tick freeze, and then we could basically spam right click this librarian over there. Should, should take about like 10 seconds, then. Will get converted. There we go. 
Didn't work. Oh, no, now it actually opened. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I think 4,000 chickens are enough, like, we bought one bookshelf. Okay, let's maybe just go over there again. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, so we did buy a bookshelf. But the guy still got converted into a normal villager. Okay. <laughs> I mean, all we need is basically one bookshelf. Now we can already make a lectern out of this. I guess we don't even need this guy to stay converted. For us, that's not even necessary. Um, yeah. So it is feasible. All I need is really the lack of 4,000 chickens in a single block. That, that's enough. There's also no danger of really breaking your, your world like this. Should we go for this? Hmm. It's quite interesting, I have to say. So if you would actually try to do this in survival, there's like two or three things that make this quite challenging. But the first one is getting roughly 30,000 eggs to get this many chickens in the first place. This should be easily doable though, just by making some sort of a yeah, chicken farm where we farm eggs and just wait long enough. Now we have all the hoppers and chests to even store all of those eggs. So that should be no longer a problem with the iron farm. Uh, second problem is definitely getting all of those chickens in the one by one cramming space there. Um, if you would go closer to those chickens now, especially in vanilla without the lithium mod, not having a good time. So I would estimate roughly at around 1500 to 2000 chickens in there, it gets really bad to do anything around this area. Um, so I was thinking we could maybe use lithium just to get like 4000 chickens in the hole. Lithium should be doable and then ditch lithium again to do the zombie villager conversion later. This is a tiny bit cheaty, um, but I think it should be fine. Yeah, and then we would need to get the zombie villager and convert him into villager. There's unfortunately this random amount of time that it takes to do so, between three and five minutes. And I can't really tell in survival without commands how long exactly it takes. So what I can do is I start the conversion process, wait three minutes, and then go over to the other chunk, and then have to wait a random amount of time. Usually yeah, a couple seconds until two minutes. But with all the chickens, the game runs that much slower. It's probably between one minute and one hour. We really need to pay attention to one single villager just for those three seconds that I have um, yeah, time to quickly click on it um, and do the trading. Yeah, but it, it should be doable. Of course, it would be very unfortunate if the librarian doesn't have the bookshelf trade. Um, so there's probably like a 33% yeah, chance that it actually happens. Maybe you can try to get multiple zombie village librarians. It's so maybe also something we could we could try. Yeah, why not? I mean, if you had like three of those guys, then one of them will convert first and I don't need to do the waiting over and over again. We have this really good setup now with the, the mob farm. We can easily sort out uh, zombies. So it should definitely be feasible to get like three zombie villagers with the right profession or five. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this step by step. I, I really want to do this now. Let's start with the chicken farm. So I put Lithium back into my mod folder and it's actually crazy the type of difference it makes. So in vanilla, getting anywhere close to those chickens, really bad idea. But here, it's kinda okay. So to actually get 4,000 chickens into a small gem in survival, maybe something like this is a good idea. Just have some scaffolding and then throw up the eggs like this. Then it would end up at the top. Maybe we could even use something like fast right click. Ooh. Oh, that's probably not a good idea. Maybe there's some effects that actually prevent the chickens from going up all the way. This is also happening if we, if we do it a bit slower. Probably. Maybe if the chicken hatches and I... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I probably want to use a single scaffolding block. Um, if you just support it here on the side. Try it again, the fast right click. Could have better success, let's see. 
You know, it can still end up at the bottom. Okay, then we need to, just need to come up with something else. I guess just drawing in the axe from on top. Yeah, should be pretty fail safe. Let's see if this also works fast, right click? Oh, not really. All right, we're back in survival. I already built up the chicken system. So I went out 16 chunks from the mob farm so we can easily load this area by just stepping over a chunk boundary over there. Okay, so what do we have here? So we got the chicken pit. I can just stand up here and throw down the eggs. And we got another setup where I can put in chickens now to lay eggs. I also yeah, added enough chests and hoppers. I'm out of wood though. I have to spend all the remaining logs on, on this. Okay, so I brought over the eggs we got from the fox farm. So I can now just climb up there again and throw it in here. So this is uh, an 8x8 enclosure. Should be fine if you have a couple hundred chickens in there so we don't get any entry cramming. Okay, so goal is definitely to maybe get like 500 chickens in there so we don't need to AFK for literal ages until we have the 30,000 eggs. So I've been AFK for one hour and threw all the eggs I got in there. So in total we have 50 chickens or so. But this is, you know, taking way too long. I'm actually thinking about just getting some seeds and reading them manually. Okay, there we go. This should speed up things a little bit. Time for a progress update. So I kept breeding chickens until I got roughly 450 or so. And then I had an issue with entity cramming again. So while holding the seeds, the chickens would rush towards me and started to entry cram. Basically the same issue that we had with breeding the pigs. Seems like around 400 uh, entities entry cramming happened. So I had to stop it, the breeding, and just use eggs um, to get the number up even higher. So I had 1000 chickens in there. But it seems like some of them recently got entry cram. So it worked for quite a while and after about 3 chests uh, some raw chicken and feathers got in there. Um, so the reason it was a bit of entry cramming, but I think with 950 it shouldn't happen again. Alright, so each of those chickens would lay 8 eggs power on average, so one every 7.5 minutes. So that means with about 950 chickens we should get roughly 7,500 eggs per hour. So we would need to wait like 4 hours in total to get 30,000 eggs. Okay, yeah, pretty much what I gotta do now is to wait until those four hours are over and then we can continue here. Um, I think I was gonna kill those chickens, cause quite a bit of lag actually. We do want it later, but um, I think I don't want the lag while I, while I throw in the eggs actually. Alright, so yeah, we already have I think a bit over three double chests, actually four double chests of eggs. So, like three and a half hours of waiting are left. Alright, so I did all the waiting and almost all the chests are filled with eggs. Except the last one here. Okay, then I can start throwing down eggs the hole here. But this is gonna take quite some time. So if I just hold down right mouse button, I can like throw 18,000 eggs per hour. So it's gonna take about 90 minutes until we're done here. Maybe rebinding use item to the keyboard helps? Let's see. Oh, I need to press U uh, to click on the chest as well now, but this is faster. Alright, it's actually gonna save probably an hour this way. A bit too fast again. I think it's fine. So there's about 600 chickens down there already, and I'm having issues with the hand restock feature of Tweakeru. Sometimes it fails already. Should probably try to reduce the lag a little bit and do some culling. So I was thinking about just getting rid of the chickens here at the top. Oh, that's actually a funny amount of XP we're getting from this. It's good, so I can actually finally combine my bow. So I'm at 1600 chickens in there now. And the lag actually worries me a little bit. We are at 89 MSPT. Why am I worried? Actually built the setup one chunk too close to the mob farm. So if you stand at the mob farm over there, where we get our zombies from, then those chickens are still loaded. 
And yeah, if I would now throw in even more eggs, so we get the full 4,000 chickens already. This would also slow down the mob farm to a level where it might be a bit uncomfortable. So I'm thinking we should maybe get the zombies now and then throw in the rest of the eggs after that. Alright, so I'm at the mob farm now. And this here is exactly the chunk boundary where we have lag or not. So yeah, we're back at 95 MSPT. If I take one step over. It goes down to uh, 5 MSPT. Okay, this is much better. Yeah, so it should have probably built the chicken setup one chunk over. So the chunk boundary would have been over there. So it could still stand here and farm zombie villagers. It's actually going to take quite a while to get the right type of zombie villager. I think there's something like... I think 12 professions or so. And only 5% of zombies are zombie villagers. So we probably need to get like 250 zombies for one librarian zombie villager. Yeah, okay, then I just need to turn off the mob switch again and then we can start doing this. All right, so let's start. I think at this pace with the extra lag, it's gonna take a while until we get at least one zombie villager that is a librarian. It's gonna take a while here. That's a bit unfortunate with the lag. Should have done a bit better planning. But I think it's doable. I think I'm just gonna get two or maybe three zombie villager librarians. This should be enough. Actually, there's one thing I could do. It's a tiny bit cheaty again, but I could actually just change the render distance real quick. Is that to 15 chunks? Should definitely affect the amount of lag we're getting here. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit cheaty, but I think it's fine. I haven't really kept track how many zombies I killed here, but it's probably gonna be 250 or so, and I got maybe four zombie villagers. So either it's an unusually low amount, or actually I was wrong. Um, according to the statistics, I killed 34,000 zombies and 600 zombie villagers. So I think it's actually rather 2% of zombies are zombie villagers than five. Oh, okay, so that actually makes it much harder to get this librarian. So I probably need to kill like six, seven hundred on average to get one. Oof, okay, so that's definitely more effort than expected. So there's a zombie villager again, but I actually have issues telling what his profession is. I think the librarian has glasses, but does the zombie villager have them as well? I think I actually gotta check the wiki to see how they look like. I think this guy is actually an armor. I looked it up. The zombie village librarian has glasses. Should be easy to identify. Finally, I got one. So he doesn't show his face, but I can tell from the head this is definitely a librarian. All right. Uh, let's actually check how many more I had to kill. We were at 34,000. Yeah, I had to kill 500 more zombies. This actually took a very long time to get. I was even horrified that I would get a baby zombie villager librarian. That would also have been possible. I already checked in creative. If you convert baby zombie villagers to profession, they immediately become unemployed. So they don't keep the profession uh, for one tick. This would have actually been a really weird exploit if you can could get um baby villagers of a profession but that's not the case would have been interesting but in case somebody wants to do a cool mob collection project um getting a baby zombie vi zombie villager of each type and each profession this would be quite interesting um but anyway so this actually took so much time to get this librarian now i think i'm just gonna try um with one instead of trying to get a second one so I just get this guy to safety. Yeah, we should maybe do something about this iron golem. I think I'm just gonna raise the fence a bit more. And then we can try to convert him. 33% chance that we wouldn't get the right traits, but I'm just willing to risk it now. Um, because it just takes so long to get those guys. Alright, so I have the zombie villager safe here. Now we can continue throwing eggs. So I'm at roughly 2,800 chickens now, and the game is getting really laggy. Also throwing the eggs slowed down significantly. I guess the last 600 chickens or so will be the hardest. Alright, so according to this we have 3,500 passive mobs now. I'm pretty sure that's enough. 
Okay, then let's head over to the zombie villager again, get the witch, and yeah, let's continue with the transformation. Alright, the witch is in place again. Now we could start. I think I need to get the witch a little bit closer. Uh, that should be fine. Okay, let's wait for the weakness potion. Only poison? Uh. No luck again. There we go, weakness. Alright, I got my stopwatch ready. So, yeah, I'm just gonna click the zombie villager. Start the stopwatch, and now we wait three minutes. Uh, first I should actually get the witch out of the way again. Or heal up first. Uh, time's running, 10 seconds already. How much time is left? The poison? Too much. Alright. Let's quickly get the witch out of the way. I still need to change the mod folder, by the way. Oh. Okay, let's just deposit the witch over here. There we go. And move back. Oh, I got slowness now. Alright, so here's the chunk border. And I got 50 seconds now on the clock. Yeah, I'm gonna log out at one minute. Uh, switch back and remove Lysium. And then we can just wait two more minutes and then we head over to the laggy chunk. Okay, one more thing I shouldn't forget is to actually change the render distance again to 16. Okay. That's really important. Alright, five seconds left. Let's head over to the laggy chunk. Okay. So I'm kind of curious now how laggy this is. Let's see? Probably quite laggy. Okay, I should also start to focus on this villager. Just subscribe to TPS again. Every time I restart the game, I have to do this. And it still doesn't show if I press tab. Oh my god. I think it's quite laggy. Okay, I think we definitely got uh, a sufficient amount of lag. Hopefully it's not too much, so we have to wait here for ages. This is actually not gonna be fun, so I need to really focus on this while pretty much is not while nothing happens. Oof. There we go! Okay, let's buy a bookshelf. Okay. I think it worked. We got- No! It disappeared! Are you kidding me? This is some kind of client thing. What if we tried this in creative? Oh, come on. I should have maybe tried it in creative. In survival, in the creative world. No! I mean, I got the emeralds back, but it didn't work with the bookshelf. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, all this effort. No way. So let's try this in a creative world again. This time I'm gonna put myself into survival mode though. Okay, let's tick unfreeze. There should be like two ticks left. Let's see what happens. I already placed on an item frame. Maybe, okay, let's click. Maybe we can put the item into the item frame super quickly. Let's buy bread. Let's try to put it in there. It's also gonna disappear. I think what I never did in the creative world was actually... Let's go back to the normal chunk. So do I have the bread or not? What's going on now? Okay, let's hit me back over here. Eh? No, okay, it also disappeared. Uh, Alright, 
right. It was just a ghost item. I should have been suspicious because the villager never kept his profession with the chicken leg. So it did work when I slowed down the game just with commands and I had enough time to trade, but it didn't work with the chicken leg. That's really, really unfortunate. Uh, uh, there might be a way to get this to work somehow. Maybe I need a different type of leg, maybe a redstone leg, um, but yeah, at this point... I think I'm just gonna give up on this. We're also not too far away from getting some sugarcane. So either continue now with the villagers and start the raid soon so we can get lava. All I need basically is a grindstone to unenchant an enchanted book and get a normal book. So we could also get villagers this way or just yeah, try to AFK the morning trader platform. I mean, at some point we have to get sugarcane. Yeah, really unfortunate. I put a lot of effort into this, but ah, no luck. There is one last thing I want to do in this episode, and it's actually getting rid of the lag machine. Okay, um, I think I just want to mine in there. I break that sealant, and if I can... I think it worked. <laughs> oh. All the item drops. <laughs> oh god, I think this is gonna crash my game. Let's see what happens. Nope, we're back. <laughs> okay. It did work. Oh, there got the chickens. So this doesn't happen very often, but we literally made basically no progress at all in this episode. So we bred a ton of chickens, got the zombie villager, and it was still all for naught. Well, life is unfair. This lesson is taught over and over again. Sometimes you can put in all the effort and yeah, still don't get anywhere. Yeah, next episode we're gonna try um, Again, this time something that should guarantee some progress. So as I said, I want to relocate the villagers over there and finally get some diamond tools and so on. I also somehow managed to lose my mending axe. Either I put it in a chest somewhere or it somehow disappeared. Also really unfortunate. Um, yeah, actually made ne negative progress this episode. <laughs> but yeah, next one will be better. All right, so I'm gonna head over to the modern trader platform, AFK a little bit, and maybe we're lucky and actually get the sugarcane modern trader. Okay, thanks guys for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.